Maritime Made on East Link TV is presented in partnership with Nova Scotia Business Inc., Nova Scotia's business development agency. Most Canadians love a good hockey game. And Haligonians are no exception. Especially when it comes to their beloved Halifax Mooseheads. And Moosehead fans will do anything to watch their favorite team. So what do you do when you can't make the game at the Scotiabank Centre in downtown Halifax? That's where Eastlink TV comes in. Eastlink broadcasts Moosehead games, and when the games are in Halifax, you can guarantee that Eastlink's state-of-the-art HD mobile production truck is on its way. The truck usually arrives at the Scotiabank Centre early in the afternoon then slowly makes its way under the bleachers where it'll become the central hub of the hockey game broadcast. Once the truck's in place, the driver levels and stabilizes the vehicle. Opens the pop-out, hooks up the power, and this truck needs a lot of power. And powers up the truck. While the driver and his team get the truck ready, the rest of the team are already sorting out camera gear from the cube truck and getting it ready to be brought up to the stands. The East Link production truck is a professional television control room and can utilize up to 12 cameras, as well as multiple audio sources, graphics, and many other video inputs. There's also an output video feed that will send the final output from the truck to master control, and then to people's homes. The camera crew sets up cameras in multiple locations, all facing the player benches. The close follow camera, which follows the puck around the ice, has a very expensive lens that can zoom right in on the action from a very long distance. In the crow's nest, two cameras are set up. One to catch the action on the ice, and a second to capture the commentators, Chris Abbott and Paul McDonald, during the pre-game and between periods. There are also two roaming cameras that use a wireless video feed to bring the audience all the action at ice level. Audio, or sound, is another important part of the Eastlink broadcast. Eastlink dedicates two crew members just for audio. A typical hockey game utilizes approximately 20 microphones. Eight of them are connected to the glass around the rink to pick up all the action on the ice. Some are used for on-air personalities, and one is used for capturing on-ice interviews. Each of these microphones needs to be connected to the production truck, either by cables or wirelessly. Once the audio and camera gear is all set up, it's time for the crew to take a well-deserved dinner break. Once everyone has eaten, it's back to work. The video engineer will first set up all the camera levels using various CCUs, or camera control units. This ensures that each camera matches the others in terms of brightness and color. It would be awfully jarring to the audience if one camera image looked different from the rest. While the cameras are being set up, the audio technician is checking sound levels. 
The control room team are going through their production meeting. The camera operators and director Brett are going through their technical meeting. And the in-truck producer is going through the script to ensure all the elements are ready to go. Such as graphics or pre-recorded video. Once all the technical requirements have been checked off and the control room crew have made sure all the elements for the show are ready, it's time for the pre-show. The pre-show, which occurs while the players are warming up on the ice, gives the entire crew an opportunity to warm up themselves. Camera operators are able to ensure their cameras are working correctly. The on-air personalities are able to ensure they have all the details they need. And the director is able to make sure everyone and everything is ready for the big game. A live television broadcast like this is time to the second from start to finish. Just moments before the puck is dropped, an opening animation is played. Then cut to the gameplay. The play-by-play -play announcers watch the game from high up in the rafters. In order to see all the action. Once there's a break between periods, they'll run to the crow's nest to talk about all that's happened. Each crew member focuses on their specific role, with the director acting as conductor and switching between all the required elements and cameras. All the crew members will be energized and on edge until the game is over and the production truck packs up until next time. Maritime Made is presented by Nova Scotia Business Inc. Because great things are happening.